a good one for any other Corey team. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have your competitive edge, uh, your aggressiveness. Uh, well, it's almost like uh, you have kill with other Corey team. Well, that's certainly not true, but, uh, you know, we'll do anything within the rules to win uh, hockey games. And uh, it does seem a bit unfair to use me in goal, but because uh, I am, you know, uh, uh, we're going to the premier goal tender then. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, it's true. And uh, I, don't like to <laughs> I don't like to brag, but uh, I know that if I played uh, goal, uh, I don't think uh, anyone would score against me this Sunday or any time in the future. Then you're talking 0, 0.00 goals against then, huh, Ben? Certainly. All shutouts, huh, Ben? Certainly again. Okay, then. Good luck this week. I remember telling you this before when you played this team, you ain't gonna need it. And I remember you saying, don't say that because we might need it. So this week, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna say good luck. Well, you could have threw in the one part that I ain't going to need it part, because now I would agree with you. We ain't going to need it this Sunday. It's going to be uh, no contest. Thank you very much, Dan. And Ben's gift tonight for being with me on my show. A nice little token gift we'll give him for showing up here today and spending some time with us and some interesting viewpoints. will be a 1979 Lincoln Continental. Thank you very much, Ben. Okay, goodbye. Why'd we have to get so hip? Oh, why'd we have to take that trip? Oh, yeah. Some good 40s, um, uh, 1940s music there, and uh, welcome to my show. I uh, hate to interrupt Martin Maul because that's an excellent song that he did there, but, but we're in the SEALs dressing room here. Uh, Today, and uh, after an 11 to 5 uh, uh, thrashing of the Rangers, and uh, the uh, atmosphere here is uh, is very good. The Seals are in a very good mood, and uh, we're in the dressing room. We're, we're going to try and talk with Denny Jackson if we could. Uh, is, uh, is Denny Jackson around here at all? Uh, can we can we get Denny Jackson up here? Uh, get, get out of here, Rhino. Um, Denny, Denny, get out of here, Rhino. Uh, Denny Jackson, can we speak with Denny Jackson? Here he is. Get out of here. I didn't point it. Okay, Denny, Denny, welcome to the show. And boy, what a what a what a goaltending performance you put on today. And uh, and uh, boy, you you just uh, frustrated the Rangers here today. What do you have to say about that, then? I feel great about it, Henry. I thought we put on a great uh, great uh, performance today. Our whole team, and of course myself and goal was my unbeatable self. And uh, boy, we really played it. We really played a great game, though. <sighs> My goodness, then 11 of five. Had the, I think the first blowout of the year, wasn't it? The first blowout of the year for the uh, Seals, and uh, I think you were the the man uh, really responsible for it because you really backstopped the team to victory today. Well, there's there's no question about that, uh, boy. Uh, you know, I I kept us in the game really uh, through two periods. Uh, uh, we were outplayed somewhat, I think, throughout the first two periods. But uh, for the most part, it was me uh, stopping shots left and right with with my pads, with my glove, with my stick, with my helmet. You know, and uh, there I was just uh, just stopping everything that the team threw at me. And uh, they played a great game, the Rangers. They did. They played a, a hell of a game. But uh, unfortunately, they, they ran into the hot goaltender today, and uh, they ended up on the short side of it, and uh, and uh, we won the game. It was a very impressive win for us today, I think. I I agree 100%. Then, and how about uh, how about those saves you were making today? Uh, you got the stick done. You were breaking. Uh, well, you were you were breaking up uh, breakaways on one one right after another. You almost. Uh, Stood there and go and said, you know, come on down, any one of you, and uh, challenge me one on one. That's practically what it come down to, and uh, and each time you came away, uh, stopping them every time. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't like to brag, of course, but uh, I did. I stopped the breakaways time after time after time after time, and I, and uh, as a result, I think I frustrated the team. I took the heart out of, I grabbed their heart, and I ripped it right out of them, really, by doing that, and uh. I, I played a heck of a game today, and, uh, you know, uh, I think the team knows it. And, uh, pro I'm probably the number one goaltender now for the team. 
and rightfully so. Now, then, how about uh, how some of those goals that they did score on you? They they got four on you in uh, in the first uh, first two periods, and uh, and uh, I was a little bit surprised they actually scored on you though. <laughs> yeah, I was also. But uh, the first uh, the first goal is going. I'll go for each and every one of them. The first goal is the uh, drive from the from close in from the slot and. Uh, I just couldn't handle it. There's no way no, I could do nothing. I absolutely nothing about it. And the second one was was uh, exactly the same way. You know, a breakdown on, the, on our defensive uh, unit, and uh, they picked up the puck deep in our slot and picked it up. And a uh, hard shot. It uh, it actually eluded me. Nothing I could did about it. I think it hit one of our defensemen and deflected in. Uh, their third goal was in the second period. Uh, I stopped the breakaway, and uh, you know, there's nothing uh, much there, of course. But then uh, the puck later on, maybe I could have did a little bit of a better job, perhaps, of uh, controlling the rebound. But uh, it come out a little bit, and uh, right out in front, they picked it up. Shot, save, shot, save, and uh, another shot. I think Tim Kaiser blocked one there, and I think I blocked another uh, five. Uh, and Kaiser maybe another one until, uh, and then I finally stopped another one until it finally went into the net, and uh, absolutely nothing I could have done about on that third goal. For the fourth goal, then a uh, shot from uh, from the right from the from the right uh, wing uh, side of them uh, to your left. Hard drive uh, it seemed to elude you somewhat as you uh, went down to block it. Yeah, it was it was a good shot, uh, good shot from the right side. It came in all alone, unmolested. Uh, and I want another one of their breakaways. Uh, I was all alone, me and him. The shooter came out, challenged them, did a good job. I made a nice move on him. Uh, he took the shot and it deflected. <laughs> Deflected off one of our defense, but it went in. <laughs> well, as anyone can see by your descriptions, then you had absolutely no chance of uh, stopping in any four of those shots. And, uh, uh, th th yeah, it's absolutely true, Henry. I had no chance on any of any of them. <laughs> but uh, there was uh, there was some that I I really had no chance on whatsoever that I did stop, you know, and uh, kept our team in this game and. Uh, as a result, ended up being the hero of the game. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dan, and uh, boy, what a great game turned in by you. And, and uh, Mick Jackson, though, who has uh, often played goal for you, has also turned in a goal and in a winning cause. And the final score here today, fans, 11-5 to Seals in a real uh, bombardment with Dan Jackson and goal. Thank you for being my guest here today, Dan. And Dan's gift today will be a 1979... Chevrolet Corvette. Thank you very, thank you very much, Dan. And uh, as always, good talking with you and uh, splendid performance in goal, and uh, an excellent performance not only by yourself, uh, but as the uh, also by the team and by the coach who also sent in some plays today. Just the uh, yeah, thank you very much, Henry, and I, I agree 100% uh, with you. Uh, today it was a uh, an excellent team effort, uh, mostly. Uh, <laughs> Mostly I carried the team, mostly on my shoulders, but uh, other people helped out today as we really dominated the Rangers today, and uh, I'm very impressed with the way we've played, not only this week, but the week before also, and I'm looking forward to the Islanders next week. Okay, Dan, we'll see you later in the week for that interview about the Islanders. Goodbye.